What's up everyone, it's Carson Gamer here and welcome back. So guys, patch 223 has finally been released. They have added in the two new dinos, which is the Karuku and the Angular Fish, which I will get to right in a moment. They have also added in the minigun turret, which is like a mountable auto turret, and the catapult turret. The catapult turret is basically another version of the ballista, and same with the minigun turret, it's similar to the automated turret. But I'll be going over those in another video and not in this video today. I'm just going to be showing off the two new dinos in this video. So as you can see we've got the Karuku here. Now these things are very good for heat apparently. Even though it hasn't really changed me down at the bottom. It's still got hypothermia. Mainly probably because i got no clothes on. But once you've got a few of these tamed. They are supposed to give you heat in the... Oh I know why this didn't work. I don't think this is a fully grown one. It's an adolescent. But they give you heat when you're cold in a certain area. And I know they're very good for farming a certain something. I don't know what a certain something is, but we're about to find out. It's uh, easy as that. Oh, organic polymer. That's cool. Let's get some more. <laughs> run, run like the wind. <laughs> oh, that's so slight. So we got some more organic polymer here. So let's see what it says about it. Incredibly, these incredibly strong at lightweight plates are somehow naturally made in certain creatures. So organic polymer. This is going to be. I'm pretty sure this is the same as the polymer that you have to craft of cementing paste and obsidian. Obviously, it's an organic way of getting it, so you can farm penguins for polymer, which is kind of cool actually. As you can see, a lot more of the advanced technologies are becoming a lot easier to farm in the game now, making life a lot easier for lower uh, lower end people. So this is my force tamed Kruku here. Here are the stats. Uh, this is a level 19. It's not fully grown yet, but when it will be fully grown, it'll have 171 HP, 280 stamina, which isn't too bad. As you can see, there's no oxygen bar here, so it's unlimited oxygen. It can swim forever in the water. Uh, melee damage is 287%, movement speed is 300%, which is really, really good. So that can obviously swim fast. The weight isn't too much, however, so it can't carry a lot. But these are going to be fairly good swimmers to have around with you. And they have a decent amount of damage. You could probably use them as little... Little warbirds, uh, underwater warbirds. It's pretty cool. Now I'm going to run straight, all, uh, straight over to the anglerfish. These things are pretty freaking awesome. And as you can see... He's having a nice kiss with one of these dolphins here. So, I'm just going to mount him. So when you ride them, you kind of like grab onto the top half of them by there. Just eat some of these. <sighs> so the stats on this thing is, this one's a level 30 when I force tamed it. Its stats are 900 HP. Its stamina is 336. Weight is 406. Now that's actually quite surprising. Cause look, just look how small it is. It's not really that big. It looks like it, it's good. That can hold a lot of weight. Uh, 280 melee damage and 100% movement speed, which isn't too bad. This makes a decent kind of war mount on, in the in the water. Probably have a pack of these. Go around on your megalodon of about three or four of these following around view. These things could probably kick some ass down there. Uh, these things are very good to farm, however. I'm going to spawn another one on land, so it's a lot easier to kill with them running around everywhere. Swimming around everywhere, anyway. You can't really run underwater. Uh, where are you? Here we go. Oh. Okay, that didn't work. Maybe I do have to put them in the water. I managed to get one on land earlier. Okay, so we got one here. I can just kill it before it swims away. Oh, you can't shoot underwater. Just remember that. Bye then. Wait, they seem to be attracted to down there. Yeah. They all kind of swim down. So guys, if you are looking for these, it looks like they're going to be near the depths, the very deep depths of the ocean. You're going to have to swim down quite far to find them. They're not really going to be as shallow as this one here. But I'm going to quickly put one on you by doing a little bit of cheating. Okay, here we go. We've got one right here. 
This thing looks pretty dope. Oh, let's kill it. There you go. Uh, turn that cheat back off. Oh. So, in its inventory, when you kill it, you know, you get the standard stuff like you would in the scorpions and anything like the basic loot you get from any dino from killing it. And when you farm them, you get angler gel as, long, uh, as well as meat. Now, the angler gel is classed as a fuel. I think you can use it as a fuel for anything. It says a thick, vicious substance that can sustain a flame for a remarkably long time. So, this is going to be, I guess in some way you could say the new spark powder in terms of using it as a fuel, not crafting reasons. Okay guys, so as you can see I placed this campfire here and the angler gel actually works in here or any other place where it requires uh, a flame, uh, a fuel sorry. So as you can see I'm cooking this meat now with the angler gel. It hasn't used up any of it yet. It's managed to cook two pieces of meat and still hasn't used up one piece yet. It says it can sustain a flame for a remarkably long duration. Um, if that is longer than spark powder, I'd really want to sit there watching it, but if it is, that's going to be a very good way now of getting a very worthy fuel, because obviously of wood, it weighs a lot, doesn't last very long, it lasts about 20-30 to 30 seconds, I'm not too sure, and it just becomes a pain in the ass creating all that uh, charcoal. It's cooked four pieces of meat now. Um... And yet it hasn't lost one yet, since it's been going for, oh, I'm not sure long, I'm uh, not sure how long, about a minute. So this is probably better than spark powder if you're going to be using it as a fuel source, then can't put any more on there. But pretty cool, sangler gel. So if you're in need of fuel, I definitely think you should hunt some of these angler fish. Obviously you're going to have to tame one first in order to go down there and farm the others. I'll see if I can find those others that swam down here. See there's one here. We have a fight going on. They don't swim very fast when they're getting hit. They kind of just sit there and die. They accept death. Okay, guys. So I followed those anglerfish down underneath the water where they swam down after I spawned them in. And as you can see, there's two of them here where they swam down. As you can see, they give off uh, a really good light... So if you're going to be underwater farming oil or whatever, as you can, see, you can see that light on that one there, that one's dead. You can see how much the light stands out just by taking a quick glance, it just flickers, you can just see it. But god, these things are ugly, just look at them. Anyway guys, that's going to be it for this video. I've covered mostly everything to do with the new dinos. The new Karukus generate heat when around you. Basically act as mobile radiators. They also give you organic polymer once farming them. And they could probably make some good underwater birds army if you had quite a few of them. A bit like the Demorphodons, but it's just not as OP. They're more... They have more of a benefit in speed and damage. With anglerfish, these things are going to be very good. Um, I think they're going to be very good pack hunters if you tame about a good three or four of them. If you're like on your megalodon, you can like set these off to go wreck some things. They spawn with fairly decent stats. And, whoa, you see how much that upgraded by there? Uh, 1, 000, uh, that upgraded by 243 on top of the 900, so... That's not too bad for a level 30. But these things are pretty good. Um, I'm probably going to get myself one eventually. I don't particularly like going in the water, so uh, it won't be too soon till I get my own one on the survival server that I play on, the official one. But guys, that's pretty much it for this video. In my next video, I'll be covering the Ballista Turret. Not Ballista Turret, sorry. Catapult Turret and the Minigun Turret. So if you want to check those out, be sure to subscribe and see my upcoming video, which will be released on Sunday. I'm going to be away for the weekend, so I won't have any videos before then. But anyway guys, if you enjoyed this video, 
If it was of any help to you in any way, shape or form, don't forget to leave a like. Just want to say thank you all for all the support on all my other videos, all the likes, all the comments and all the shares. I really, really do appreciate it. It's what keeps me going on my YouTube channel, keeps me posting this awesome content for you. And if you're new to the channel and you want to see some more ARC content, be sure to subscribe. Anyway guys, that's pretty much it for this video. I just want to thank you all for watching and I'll see you in the next episode.